Welcome back to Shifting the Solids. Today we're going to be talking about the decal feature in Onshape. So follow me up here to the top toolbar and I'll show you where it lives. Uh, if you take a look, we have this drop down menu next to Transform. I'm going to click here and decal lives underneath there. Remember last week we talked about wrap. This week we're going to talk about the decal tool. So if we leave, let me move over a little bit. If we hover over this, you'll see it says apply an image to an, onto an existing flat or cylindrical face of a part or surface, specify the exact location, size, and alignment of the applied image. So um, very, very simple tool to use. Um, but what I want to do today is kind of debunk some some things that, you know, when I first saw this, I thought it was a decal as a sticker. And stickers, if you, you use them, you can put them on any surface, pretty simple. But in my mind, they would wrap around those parts, and that is not what it does. Um, but I'm going to show you some tricks and some things you can do to kind of, maybe if you're doing some um, uh, like you want to trace over it, use it as a, a, a decal, and that way you can kind of draw part of it. Um, and we'll, we'll show you guys how that works. But for all, like always, let's get started with a sketch. Let's start on that top plane. Hold Shift and S to start a new sketch. N to normalize your view and P to hide those planes. Um, and what we're going to do here, let's turn that origin back on. Uh, let's start with a rectangle. And so I'm going to start a center point rectangle, shortcut key R. Let's do, we'll go five by five. Make a five by five center point rectangle based off of that center origin, fully defined because we have all black lines. Our next step is we're gonna shift into solids. We're gonna go shift E to make that thing 3D. Um, we'll angle that so we can see what we're doing. And let's take here and make this five inches. So we have a five by five cube, okay? Now, this is a very simple shape to make. Obviously, you could do um, some other shapes, but one thing I want to show you is if we come back to our first sketch, I can draw a line from my midpoint on my left side and my midpoint down. I'm going to trim this corner up so we get kind of like a chamfered edge, a cookie, uh, like a, the corners cut out. Um, and because the extrude, this is some, some little quick tips, because the extrude exists after my sketch and I'm going and editing, basically I'm like editing the timeline. Um, and because of that, if I click OK, it automatically changes the way my extruded shape will look. Um, sometimes this doesn't work out and it's because there's geometry that was selected before. Maybe you selected multiple faces and then you deleted that face. Um, but the reason I wanted to show you this was so we have some faces one that I can throw uh, some logos on, some decals on, but in my mind, I thought if I placed it here and I made it big enough, it would be able to kind of flow over, if we look at this from a top view, and I could get a big decal to wrap around. I'm thinking like doing like stock cars or making stuff for like truck layouts and stuff. This would be super cool to lay, you know, curved uh, geometry. I even thought, well, what if I, what if I fill it those corners and I'll around this side really quick and this side just a half inch round just to kind of show you it still is treated as different surfaces the more I click you'll see that my mouse if you zoom in real close my mouse shows five on that clicker we'll take it off right every time I select another surface so basically what needs to happen decals want single surfaces so let's go under our decal tool remember up here under transform we'll click decal and if we look at what it's asking it's asking us for an image so select image I have a bunch already saved in here we'll just use my Mesa makes logo and now it's asking for a face so we are gonna click this face here and pretty simple it adds my decal to it now I was hoping like okay well just like anything else in on shape this up arrow is gonna move it vertically one way or the other. Uh, same thing with this horizontal one, left or right. But you see that the, the, the limits of that surface are kind of what cut your decal off. So I'm sure you could do a lot of math and figure out like, oh, well, if I shifted it over this much and then this starts, now I'd shift it over this much and you could kind of make it wrap and make it work. But I was thinking it would be smart and it would do it for you. Um, so then I was like, okay, well, let's put that back at zero. So our U shift is our horizontal, our V shift is our vertical, and then obviously with our angle, I can rotate 
or come up here and type in uh, I want this to be rotated at 45 degrees and it'll give me that and then oh no you know what I meant 45 the other direction I can click that flip angle button um, let's get that back to zero but what I was thinking was I could just scale this thing up and it would overlap those and I was mistaken I wish and you know, I say as I'm saying this I'm speaking it into existence I guarantee they're gonna change it at some point um, let me pull that decal back up but for the time being this is how this works so if I were to click this other face you'll see that it's gonna wrap it in there or I can put it in here now these are for solid flat surfaces right now if I go and we'll leave this we'll leave this on we'll come back to my and delete my fillets let's go back to sketch one and right next to it I'm gonna add a circle that is also five inches in diameter we'll say okay and you'll see begin because I did that during the sketch one phase and in our extrude we said everything all the faces of sketch one you'll see it auto selects makes them the same size um, but if I go into decal and I change from the face of extrude one here to this face you'll see that now it's adding it to that cylinder and it does wrap around the cylinder so I don't know why um, obviously cylinder surfaces are perfectly round um, so I understand that but I don't know why it doesn't wrap around fillets after you've added them so like again like I said it's probably gonna change uh, somewhere down the line um, but for now just treat it as like you're just gonna slap a sticker on there um, some things you can do with realign you can use placement origin or horizontal reference so I can use um, I can say hey I want this placed here and you'll see you'll get those nine placement dots so I can say I want it oriented this way or this way whatever it's kind of harder on a curved surface let's bring this back over here um, and I can say no I want this placed in the upper there we go that upper corner right or actually no I want that corner based off of there so you can kind of puzzle piece it around and that might be what would be the best option um, so like I could do again another decal here go right here same image same size uh, I'd have to go back and check how big did I make that 6.01 so just copy your same 6.01 I'm gonna go realign placement origin is gonna be there and you'll see now it gets it to wrap so there's kind of kind of some cheat codes you can do to make that thing wrap but you have to bring the math along with it I'm the type that hoped that it would automatically wrap um, and I, I think this is this kind of feels like the way the the thread tool works I think there this is something that's not used a whole lot but if enough of us start working on it and I start asking for you know changes obviously they'll they'll start working and they'll make that change but I think that 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 makes that surface pretty cool now the only thing that sucks is if I put that fillet back in now I'm gonna have to add another one <laughs> based off of and we obviously we removed our corner so uh, that's kinda not the greatest thing in the world but what you could do um, last week we talked about the um, wrap feature I could then make myself some uh, sketches based off of here so if I was gonna go and draw a sketch on this front face I could start making some DXFs or just start cutting in and making my own line work to then be able to cut in I'll just go up to here and it's not gonna be perfect but I could then do an extrusion or a cutout or however I wanted to do this to make my logo we'll go there that should work uh, we'll do extrude I want to extrude just this chunk 
remove it down 0.125 and you'll see now I have a spot with that decal that I'm using as my like trace and obviously I didn't go perfect on there but I could suppress that decal and essentially shut it off and now I'm starting to cut my my logo in so if that's how you want to do it instead of using the method I've shown on here before it's a good way to kind of do that and scale it and size it and kind of see what you're dealing with um, but yeah for decal I really wish that they would have an, like an auto wrap feature and again I feel like if I say it enough times it's gonna change um, so if that does happen look for a video in the future on how to do that But that's pretty much gonna do it for us today um, let's turn those We'll back it up a little bit, turn those decals back on. I can come back here and maybe we'll drop this down. Uh, we'll go an inch on both of those. Actually, negative one. There we go. We'll go negative two. Maybe negative three. Get that hole. There we go. Make sure that whole thing's in there for my face anyways so okay same thing here uh, vertical shift to negative three and so there's a lot of possibilities you can do to align these things um, personally if I had that sticker <laughs> um, I would do something like this but if maybe you wanted to put like in your 3d model or in something maybe you have you could draw a sketch and like put like a like a alignment point so all your stickers or all your decals will always be aligned off of a certain spot. Um, maybe you're bringing in decals and you have your decal size a certain size. You want to see what would work, what won't work, or what will or what won't what will or won't work um, when it comes to placing decals on things. So pretty cool tool. Not the most essential thing in my opinion, but if you find a better way to do this or you find uh, a better use for this, give me a comment down below. Um, and tell me like what you figured out and how you went about doing it. Um, that's my favorite part of Onshape and the community is that we're always like teaching each other, but that we're always learning together too and you know calling people out on no, there's an easier way, but it's not like you don't feel attacked. <laughs> you got you got a crew behind you that'll help you out. So it's gonna do it for us. I know I kind of stretched a probably what could have been a four minute video and uh, we're at twelve minutes and forty seconds now, but hope you guys have a good night. Take care.